Hey then, welcome to Coton's Workshop. Today I'm gonna to show you how to load this CDR3. It's on a 130 step up barrel. Loading longer roller guns is a challenge for some guys. So I'm gonna also show you um, some tricks on how to do that. But most importantly, I'm gonna show you the sequence in, in which to load your CDR3. Uh, this CDR3 um, step up model um, is using 80 centimeter 14 mil bands. Um, and a seven and a half mil shaft. This is actually quite a powerful setup. Some guys go up to 85 centimeter bands on their hand load setups. But I wanted to use this one in today's tutorial to show you that it is actually possible to load this gun with these rubbers on. And this shoots really, really well with this setup on. So um, I like to try supply the guns, the, well, the 130s with 80, 80 centimeter um, 14 mil bands. That will give us a muzzle load of about 16 kilos over here. This is a little bit less than what you would have on um, a 110 or um, a, even a shorter gun that you're generally looking at wanting to be at about 19 kilos. But because the gun's longer, it does make it harder to load. So I'm gonna show you um, how I managed to load these guns um, even, when, even out the water where it's a little bit more difficult. So on a CDR3, the loading sequence is quite important. You're gonna start with your bottom rubber, this one here closest to you. Now, the trick is getting this rubber off the roller, but also the handle into your chest. So this is where guys battle. What you're doing with the roller gun is you're actually, you're not pulling with this arm, you're pushing with your with my right arm this this hand over here i'm going to push the gun into my chest guys find that a little bit difficult and and same here i'm not a big guy so i battle to you see how my arms are stretched out how do you pull your arms together the easiest way to do it is to act, is to put the handle of the gun into your thigh hold using your hand so i'm going to use my hand i'm going to secure that by putting it into my thigh and I'm actually gonna use my whole body as a, um, like I'm gonna do a crunchy. And you pull down onto, onto the gun and then slip the handle into your chest. And you load that onto the back notch. So if you look that, see that there, that's on the back notch. The other notch is over here. It's in the middle here. Right, so. Again, and this, keeping this arm nice and straight down so that I can put all my weight into it. Just hold it by the edge of your hand because you want to get that into your chest. And you'll see the rubbers are nice and parallel they um there's no rub nothing's crossing over each other it's a little bit easier when you don't have to show it on camera but this um, gun will get easier to load over the course of um, its first few days in the water to um, detention the rubbers it's quite simple don't unload it and then just let go because there's a lot of power going at the end it's better to relax and re let the rubbers down slowly like that there we go so that's how you load a longer roller gun um, i hope that technique um, helps you if you still battle to load your roller gun it's best then just to use a load assist if you haven't seen my video on load assists, uh, check it out now over here. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.